weekend for the Johnson County Clerk of Court's office. The massive undertaking is an effort to get ready for Monday's launch of a new computer system. But as we have reported this week, the company contracted to put that system in place across North Carolina has had problems in other states. CBS 17's Russ Bowen is here now continuing to dig deeper into this. And Russ, what are the concerns here? So there are four pilot counties, like we mentioned this week, that launch on Monday. Wake, Harnett, Lee, and Johnston County, which is where I spent this morning. The clerk is very aware of issues elsewhere and issues like private records being made public and wrongful arrest, but she says her staff is well prepared. We're getting these files ready. For As Johnston County Clerk of Court, Michelle Ball puts it out with paper and in with electronics. Ball's office is saying goodbye to a 40-year-old computer system and saying hello to an $85 million statewide upgrade. But before all of North Carolina's 100 counties go online, Johnston County will serve as a live test. The whole state will benefit. We have tried to stand in the gap and ask the hard questions and put our foot down and say, no, that's not how we need to do it. That's not how the record is kept. You need to go back to the drawing board and fix it. Tyler Technologies is the company that was chosen to implement the new system. System. Ball is familiar with the serious issues and litigation Tyler Technology has and continues to face in other parts of the country. Knowing what those problems are elsewhere helps Ball to know what to look out for. We're going to be watching those most closely. Um, even though there's a new electronic system, it's still my responsibility to look at it, and I, we plan to do that. Her staff has spent months and months preparing to hopefully avoid major issues. For the last two months, they've used both the old and new system, called Odyssey, in tandem. That's helped staff work out anything they see as potentially problematic. It also helps Ball to be more optimistic about Monday's launch. The change is bumpy, but it's not bad. Odyssey cuts the amount of steps needed to enter civil and criminal cases into the database. If you've ever been in a clerk or court's office, you've seen the rows and rows of cases. That paperwork now has to be manually entered. So what we're doing today and tomorrow and Saturday is we're taking all the staples and paper clips out of the files, taking them off the uh, clips that hold them into the files, and we're readying them so that on Sunday when the Odyssey system comes up, we'll be able to physically put them in the scanner on our desk, scan them in, and attach them to the appropriate file number. We don't know how well or smoothly this will go, but Ball believes it is the best move. We know that it will work. Um, we just are going to need some grace and patience to uh, allow us to get back up to full speed as we learn a new system and a new language um, for our record keeping system. So guys, Ball's team will work all through Super Bowl weekend. I mean, I'm going to tell you, both of you, that when I was there today, the amount of dedication, the effort they're making to try to make this as smooth as possible for the public is pretty extraordinary. I mean, they really are dedicated. Again, they'll be there all weekend working so hard for, for months and months at this yeah. point. You can find my additional coverage at CBS17.com. We'll be watching and waiting to see if it goes smoothly mm -hmm. or not in four different counties, guys. All right. Thank you so much, you Russ. Bet.